guys, so today I'm showing you how to create your own lip jelly balm. And I know there's those L'Oreal hip jelly balms, and there's like lip butters, and that's my goal. I'm trying to make like a, um, my own lip jelly. This is another one of my DIYs. Right now, my um, how to make your own gel liner has 17,000 views, and I'll link it in the down bar if you want to see. But I decided to make another DIY because I saw you guys really love those. So. This is how to make your own lip jelly, and the products you will need are Vaseline or petroleum jelly, pink or red food coloring, an eyeshadow you don't mind scraping and messing up, a plastic spoon, a couple toothpicks, a paper plate, and some honey, a little tub just to put your lip jelly in, and a lot of napkins. So first we are going to start off by taking some Vaseline, and you can use petroleum jelly too, and I researched Vaseline is not bad for you. It's good for your lips. It moisturizes them. And also, some people may think that the food coloring is bad for you. It stains your lips, which is really good, and it makes the lip jelly long-lasting. But it, it, is, it also does not dry out your lips because the Vaseline counteracts with the food coloring, which makes it still moisturizing. So you're just going to take as much as needed on a spoon. And since I am trying to fill up this entire jar, it actually only goes up halfway, but I'm trying to fill up this whole jar, so I'm going to take about this much. It all depends on how big your jar is, how much product you want to make. Um, you don't have to follow my exact measuring, measurements. We're just going to scrape the Vaseline onto a plate, and then you're going to have your paper plate with the Vaseline glob in the middle. Okay, and now you're going to take your honey, and this is for flavoring, but it is also to make the lip jelly a little less... Um, a little less like slidey and more like sticky, but it's not like sticky, it's just so it stays on better. So you're going to take about four drops of honey and put it into your Vaseline. I'm just putting it right on top here. And this is just gonna add some sweet taste. So you want it to look like this. Then we're going to take your eyeshadow, and this is just a Jordana Cosmetics eyeshadow, and Jordana Cosmetics has such pigmented products for such little price, so I knew that this eyeshadow would work very well because it's super pigmented. So you just want to take that pink side, of course, because, I mean, if you want a purple lip gloss, you can, but I'm just going to take the pink side, and this eyeshadow is called Twofold, so if you want to go get this one, you can, that's what it's called. So I'm just going to take the pink part and scrape it onto the plate. So you're just going to take a new toothpick and scrape this eyeshadow out of its little pan, but not all of it, just a little. But you want enough so that it's um, pigmented because you want the rich berry color that it's going to have. So I'm just dusting this off and look, I hit pan. <laughs> not really, but yeah, so I'm going to take this and just put it next to the Vaseline, so you have a mixture like this, and then we are going to take a little bit of food coloring, and this is what gives your lip jelly its true natural color, but also it gives it some, uh, it gives it kind of like a stain, so it stays a little longer, and I'm just going to take this on a new um, toothpick, so I don't get everything else all messy. Okay, and then with this spoon, you're just going to mix this all together. And I'm going to take the camera over here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so you're just going to take what you have on the plate and just mix it all together. And I'm warning you, this part does get very messy, so be careful. You probably will have messy fingers after this. So you're just going to mix all of those ingredients together to get the rich color and the whole lip jelly. I'm going for kind of like wild berry type color because I really like that color on lips and I think it shows up better than just like a plain pink. So we're just going to mix this all together. Okay, and now here is always what I find is the hard part. So you're going, this is the part where we're going to try to put it in our little tub. So, I'm just going to scoop it up with the spoon and just put it in here. I'm going to scrape as much off as the plate as I can because I really don't like wasting.
Okay, and now the last bit off the spoon, you're just going to take a, um, one of these toothpicks and just take it off. Okay, so now if you want to make it a little more special, you can add your own labels. And I got a label maker from, I think, an office supply store. It's actually my mom's. And I just put on this Chloe Cosmetics Lip Jelly. I love putting labels on the things I make. And then it's in the flavor Wild Berry because... Doesn't it just look wild berry-ish? So this is what it looks like. You can pat it on the table to try to make it flatter. So I'm just going to flatten it out. Now let's try it. So I'm just going to dip my finger in. So there you have it. You have this very nice berry pink um, lip color which is also super moisturizing and it stays on for a really long time because of the food coloring which kind of stains but the Vaseline counteracts with it so it's just kind of like a long staying lip jelly and that is it. I hope you guys loved this DIY do it yourself how to make your own lip jelly. I really liked it. I really like how my lip jelly turned out. Sorry if it looks kind of bad. I had to just slather it on without like a mirror so it might look kind of messy. But I love this lip jelly. And also if you want a little more added color, if it's not like bright enough for you, just put on a layer of the lip jelly, jelly and let it dry and then put on another layer. And then it's like super highly hot, pigmented, whatever you want to say. So I really, really like this. I hope you guys like it too. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.